Hey folks and welcome back to another P3 video. Today I'm doing something that I don't normally do which is a tutorial and that tutorial is going to be on how to install dynamic lighting uh, and increase your FPS at night with dynamic lighting because you may have seen in my videos in the past that my dynamic lighting at night time is um, not the best so this is going to be a fix on how you can do that but also installing dynamic lighting. In this example I'm going to be using the Drozeki Design New York uh, JFK scenery uh, but this works for every and any airport uh, it's the exact same process although uh, the file locations may be slightly different so i'm going to now show you what the dynamic lighting looks like at night time okay so by default this is what the dynamic lighting looks like at night time and as you can see it doesn't actually look too bad but you can already see that my frames aren't too good uh, so we'll just need to temporarily cut up with that until i show you how to uh, increase your frames but um this is what it looks like it's not um very very pretty i mean it's good you know compared to other airports this dynamic lighting by jazeki design is actually quite good however we are going to make this look much better so i'm going to, going to show you how to install your dynamic lighting into your simulator okay so here we are we are on the uh, any builds or ini builds website however you want to pronounce it and uh, this is where i get my dynamic lighting from um you may find another page or another website where you can get dynamic lighting from however this is um the website I would recommend getting it from. It's all freeware, there's no payware, however if you do want to request um, uh, dynamic lighting to be made for a certain airport which it's not been made for yet then you can but it comes at a price but I mean I would just wait until someone else requests it uh, or just fly other airports really or even just fly that airport during the daytime. So to install it you're going to need to have the dynamic lighting effect library by any builds. You can't use their uh, dynamic lighting profiles without having this installed. So if you click on it you got this takes you to it here you just download it like so a green download and hopefully my download will only pop up here we go so we'll download it in there like so and i'm now going to show you where you can get your other um, dynamic lighting effects from or dynamic lighting for your scenery so you head back to the main page and you click on dynamic lighting so it's also got gsx profiles liveries fictional liveries reflection profiles however uh, some aircraft don't need it Oh, got a notification. So you're going to choose the continent that you are installing the dynamic lighting for. Uh, I believe that Africa, Asia, Oceania and South America do not have that much dynamic lighting. However, North America and Europe, they have tons of it. So we're North America today and uh, we are at uh, JFK. I know that's on page 3, which is down here. So as you can see, I mean, it's even got freeware dynamic lighting for certain airports. Uh, but JFK uh, is down here. So you've got, you've got the FS Dream Team, but you've also got Drozeki Design. We obviously want the Drozeki Design one, and as you can see, also here in the notes section, it gives you a link to the Dynamic Lighting Effect Library. So if you can't find where the Dynamic uh, Lighting Effect Library is, you can always just click on this link, and this is on every single um, Dynamic Lighting page. So it just tells you that you need to have that installed in order for it to work, just in case you forget to install it. So we'll download this file as well, like so. And I'm now going to go to my downloads folder uh, and we're going to get this installed. So here we go, we're on my downloads page and here we go, we have the uh, zipped files. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, unzip these just now, so just distract to that and we'll extract to this one. And we can just go ahead and delete those zips just so I, I keep my downloads uh, folder clean. And before we install the dynamic lighting, we're going to install the dynamic uh, lighting effect library. So this will actually, when you download it, it will just say, you know, it won't have this number in. It's just because I've downloaded this a couple of times. That's why it's got the number there. And just because my download, install, uh, download installer recognizes that I've downloaded this same file uh, four times. So we're going to open it up and here we go. We've got two folders, prepared version four and prepared version five. There's also a readme text, um, which is right here. So if you want to stop watching the video here and you know what you're doing from here on, that's fine. But if you uh, don't and you don't really understand what any of this means, uh, just continue watching the video and I'm going to show you uh, where you're going to put it. So this is pretty simple. If you're using preferred version 4, you just open this folder and you cut this effects fo uh, folder. If you're using preferred version 5, you're going to take this effects folder. So I'm using preferred version 5, so we're going to cut this folder. And then you're going to head to your... Uh, prepared install location so I've got mine on my E drive here's prepared version 5 and simply you're just going to just drop that file in there and it will ask you to replace them and if that is the case just click replace the files in the destination 
and that's fine. You're not going to break the simulator, the simulator's not going to work now, it's just installing the necessary files in order to use the any builds dynamic uh, lighting. We'll head back to my downloads, and here we go, this is the JFK one. So if you open this up, you're going to have another three files, and once again, this is the um, readme text. So if you know what you're doing here, go ahead, uh, just, you know, you can install it, but if you're still quite unsure, uh, just keep on watching and I'll show you. So we're going to take this effects folder and we're simply just going to cut this and we're going to put it back in our root folder, exactly the same, just paste it and it's going to ask you to replace the files, so just click replace files and there you go, uh, just that'll do enough, I mean, well, obviously it'll let you use the uh, dynamic lighting but it's not going to do anything to affect your simulator. Back to downloads and now you're left with the scenery and when you go in here, um, you're going to be given two folders, one without HDR and one with HDR. Um, if you don't know if you're using HDR or not, if you use TrueSky, by default it uses HDR. So in my case, I need to use this folder. If you don't use TrueSky, but you have HDR on, um, then obviously you use this. But if you don't have HDR on, you use this one. Pretty simple. Um, to check that if you've got H HDR running, you just go in to your simulator settings and you'll see um, uh, in your settings that you have um, within, sorry, prepared. That is not the config file. If you look in the actual prepared settings within prepared, you'll see if it's on or off, but like I said, if you're using True Sky, it'll be on by default. So we're just going to cut this now, and you're basically going to put it in the scenery folder for whatever it is. So in my case, um, my New York scenery is in my add-on scenery, and it's in here. This is where my um, uh, file will go. So this might not be the same place, wherever your um, sceneries are installed, uh, you want to go there and you want to open the scenery file for that airport or airports um, and you're basically just going to paste it in there and there you go, it's now in there so you've got the dynamic lighting installed and when you look back into the simulator it should be there so we're going to head back into the simulator and I'll show you what it looks like now with the dynamic lighting installed so that's us back in the simulator, I'm just going to go straight into changing the time just now so we'll just have a look and there you go that's what it looks like at night time it looks great apart from the frames not looking brilliant as you can see they just don't look good whatsoever and i'm going to show you uh, how to fix it now uh, so this leads us to the next part of the video and to fix that all you're going to do is you're just going to go to options graphics and simply just turn down your graphics so pop the anisotropic up to 16 but turn the ssa down to 2 ssa you can leave the texture resolution on ultra it won't make a difference and then just click OK, and there you go. You can just see instantly the frames have gone back up to the way they were during daytime. Now, admittedly, yes, in daytime you will see the difference. So in graphics, so right now you can't really see jagged edges and stuff. But when you go back to daytime, you will be able to see it now. I don't know if you can see it that well, um, but you, you definitely can see the difference. Um, in daytime, but obviously at night time, uh, you'll know if you're flying at night time, so just simply change it at, um, when you're flying or before you fly at night and it will make a difference um, really, but if you're all about that eye candy and you want to stick with the poor frames and that is up to you, uh, but personally I, this is what I do, um, well we'll start doing at night time now, um, now that I've discovered this uh, fix for getting better frames at night time. Well, anyway, that is the end of the video. Um, I hope you did enjoy, and I hope you enjoy um, the previous videos that have just come out, as I did do a double upload. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to get better frames at nighttime with dynamic lighting, as well as how to install your dynamic lighting. And if you do have any other requests on how to do any other tutorials or anything else in P3D, just leave a comment down below, and I will get around to doing it and having a look at it. But apart from that, stay safe, guys, and have a good day.